Hello, welcome to Pop Style Review. We're here, we're very excited. We have an amazing guest with us. We have Domenico, he is a fashion powerhouse. He's going to tell us all about what he is doing today, what he believes in, the importance of quality and fashion, and everything that we need to know this season. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. So you're the creative director of Domenico Vaca Fashion House. Um, how long has Domenico Vaca Fashion House been around? Yeah, we la I launched my own brand 18 years ago. So we are, uh, we've been around for a number of years. It went very fast. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun and we still have a lot of fun. And uh, I'm from Italy, so the brand pretty much started from Italy but arrived in the uh, United nice States right away, almost from inception. And uh, I was already living between New York and Italy. So New York was very, was already kind of home for me and then became home for my fashion house. So our first uh, flagship store was uh, almost 16 years ago on Fifth Avenue. So we started from there. Oh, wow. What made you start a fashion label? First of all, the passion that I have for fashion, because I was at the time of my life that I really wanted to do something that I was passionate about. It was a very important change of life. Uh, and um, also I wanted to go to the roots of my family. My grandmother was um, uh, at a fashion house in the, south, in the south of Italy, already in the 1920s, 1930s. So um, I grew up on, um, on the table of tables. I grew up playing with fabrics and uh, I think it's part of my DNA because since I walked into fashion I never felt I work a day in my life. So what do you think was the biggest um, lesson you can share here in the United States when it comes to your fine taste in, in luxury and fashion? When uh, I came here 18 years ago I said okay now we need to go to the next level. Now we really need to teach Americans the Italian style. Right, right or wrong, but a different style. And I think I had an opportunity that was great because I started working with Hollywood to, to make clothes for movies and TV series. And uh, my first work was amazing, meaning it was a great opportunity. It was Denzel Washington in American Gangster. Oh, wow. So we started having fun there and warm up a little bit. And then my second project was Jeremy Piven in Entourage. So we dressed Ari Gold. And we did it for eight seasons on HBO. And Ari Gold, really, if you watch all the episodes of Entourage in the eight seasons, you can see how the style of the American man changed in mm -hmm. 10 years period. Because I found Harry Gold slash Jeremy Piven wearing pretty much the Armani clothes and then I left him uh, ready to go on the cover of GQ and being the ambassador of Italian style in the United mm -hmm. States. Yeah. Are there specific figures and designers really that you feel you've pulled inspiration from or that you felt inspired about certain ideas and maybe maybe it's not even designers themselves, uh, maybe they're you know icons within our society. Absolutely. I uh, see more than, than designers, uh, I have a, a great fortune, the fact that I come from a beautiful country like Italy. We have a church every other block with frescoes on the ceiling. We have 75% of the art world is in Italy. So we are constantly under the solicitations of beautiful things, color for us is it, it, it runs in our veins because since we are kids, we look at it, we absorb, we study art, we study things. So that is definitely my main uh, source of, um, of style or you know, creativity in what I do. Then I was very lucky because my father was a very well dressed man. So uh, I always say I never seen my, I never saw, unfortunately, no longer with us, but uh, 
I never uh, saw my father uh, without a jacket and a tie. Even when he was home, mm -hmm. he would put on a dining jacket and still be at dinner or watching TV with us with the, with a shirt and a tie and a dining jacket. So it's a lot of inspiration that doesn't come from a designer, but from my lifestyle, from my uh, experience, from my heritage. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, and we'll be watching what's happening. Well, the... we're excited to see what you have in store. We're excited to come to you. your new flagship location. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. <laughs>